Good morning. And I'm talking to you here this morning from my hotel room in Midtown Manhattan. Actually, just looking out the window here at the Empire State Building. And I just got a great idea to start you with off on this week. Uh, I mean, I'm here, by the way, for the Advisor Craft New York City program with Van Miller and a selfie tailor. So it's going to be a great day starting in a and pretty soon, so I better get moving. Hey, what's the number one character trait that separates average from icon? Average from icon. Well, here's what it is. It's the willingness to take a risk on yourself and on your business. And I think it's the most important concept in business. It's that one big differentiator. You know, no risk, no riches. No guts, no glory. You must be willing to step out in faith, believing that you will prevail whatever the circumstances. You're putting your money on you. And you see, not doing so makes you tentative. And tentativeness attracts failure. You know, if you can't risk a no, you will never get to a yes. You just won't. And if you can't risk failure, well, you'll never achieve success either. You know, to use a baseball analogy, the truth is that you must be willing to take your foot off of first if you want to steal second. You know, that's the only way you can ever score in this business. Now, is taking a risk on yourself scary? Well, of course it is. But do it anyway. You see, the idea is to have courage. And courage is the resistance to fear, not the absence of fear. And I don't think there's anything more important to me in my life than that. You see, it's the resistance to fear, not the absence of it. That means we all have fear, but those who become icons are those who do what they need to do anyway. So make that call, approach that prospect, ask for that appointment, ask that prospect to buy, hire that new staff person you need to be more productive, get the help, the coaching, the training, the advice that you need to be more successful. Taking a chance on yourself pays the highest dividends in experience, newfound, confidence, and better results. It's like a muscle that you exercise when you're prepared to make those risks. You get stronger over time. So I believe that you must be bold if you want to be successful in any business. It's kind of like me here in New York City with Advisor Craft. I'm doing my best to be bold. And you see, fortune favors the bold. And bold just means to me, well, build out large dreams. Success really is a do-it-for-yourself project. Act on your inspiration, and you will succeed, and you will become an icon. God bless, and I'll see you again next week.